A Brief History of Artificial Intelligence All of a sudden, the whole world is talking about artificial intelligence, or AI for short. The term refers to machines, robots and software systems that perform complex tasks independently, without being given instructions for each individual step. Experts agree that AI will change our lives. Development is currently progressing at a rapid pace, but the beginnings of AI can be traced back over decades. In the summer of 1956, leading US computer scientists, mathematicians and linguists came together to conduct a research project. Their vision was to develop self-learning systems that could solve tasks requiring human intelligence. The scientists also coined a new term for this ability, artificial intelligence. The first AI program was able to prove mathematical theorems. Soon thereafter, a programming language emerged for processing symbolic structures. The AI pioneers of the 1960s were thinking big. They dreamed of creating a supermachine, a general problem solver. They researched into machine language translation and developed the world's first autonomous robot. Shaky moved around jerkily and carried out simple tasks, in the laboratory at least. The first chatbot, Eliza, was developed by the German-American computer pioneer Joseph Weizenbaum. Eliza simulated the responses of a psychotherapist during a patient consultation and was deemed deceptively realistic by some. As promising as these approaches were, researchers always concluded the real world was far more complicated than the specific problems they were addressing. The initial euphoria cooled off. Research funding was withdrawn. AI winter. In the 70s, scientists questioned whether AI systems could be truly intelligent or whether they merely simulated intelligence. The focus only shifted back to more practical matters in the early 1980s, when the first expert systems started to combine the expert knowledge of individual disciplines to assess vehicle damage or diagnose medical conditions, for example. Travellers wanting to buy tickets could seek advice from chatbots over the phone. AI was coming increasingly to the fore in Germany too. The foundation was laid for outstanding application-orientated research. German scientists made a name for themselves, particularly in speech comprehension, imaging processing and robotics. The autonomous vehicle developed by Ernst Dickmans was hailed as a pioneering achievement, cruising along the motorway largely autonomous from Munich to Copenhagen in 1995. However, there was still some way to go before series development could begin, and AI remained a niche subject. Then, in 1997, the world press screamed, Robot beats reigning grandmaster Garry Kasparov at chess. For the first time, an expert system had proven superiority over a human. As they were trained with more and more data, industrial and service robots also became increasingly autonomous and adaptable. They were evolving into self-learning systems. Since 2010, we've been experiencing a worldwide boom in AI. This is down to the way computing power and storage capacity have grown exponentially over the decades not to mention improved methodology. For example, the LSTM technology developed by German scientists is considered a crucial component of speech recognition these days. What's more, the internet, social media and built-in industrial sensors have suddenly provided access to huge volumes of data. Thanks to improved AI methods and computing power, these unstructured treasure troves can be analysed in no time. World-renowned applications have appeared in quick succession. Watson winning the US quiz Jeopardy against the show's long-standing champion. Assistants answering questions, scheduling appointments and making calls in response to spoken commands and performing duties upon request throughout the home. AlphaGo beating a top player in Go, a board game far more complicated than chess. The German startup DeepL reaching an entirely new level of finesse in machine translations. So, what's next? Self learning systems promise to bring about a wide range of applications and boost productivity. The commercial potential is huge. 
At the same time, some AI systems are producing results that humans are unable to decipher. For many everyday tasks, AI systems are not yet sufficiently reliable. Some people are fearful of robots as co-workers, and others warn that AI could race out of control. What's certain is that not everything that is technically possible should be allowed to be put into practice. But we also have to recognise the opportunities. Artificial intelligence promises to offer more precise medical diagnosis and improve treatments for patients. AI helps us to overcome language barriers. And it can improve the traffic flow in large cities, reducing congestion, preventing accidents and protecting the environment. The task, therefore, is to shape AI for society's common good.